Bruchim Aboim B'Shem Hashem. What a great schus it is that throughout the entire world on virtually every continent, we are all united learning the Torah of the Hele Gezer Shimshin. Our shir will be dedicated for a schus and a refu shalema for Elisheva Esther Bas Shifra Nechama, Sara Bas Bino, Kamran Chaim Ben Ashraf, any of the Chayalim that might be in need of a refu shalema min HaShamayim, and all of the hostages, Yehi Ratzon, that they all return home safe and sound, take up a miyad. In Besurah Stavos, for Sarah Edel, Bas Elisheva Miriam. Our shir is on the Pasuk, Vayancha Vayarivecha, Vayachilcha Samon. He afflicted you and let you hunger, and then he fed you the mon, Asher lo yodato, Vlo yodun avosecha that you did not know, and that your fathers did not know. The Medrash says on this, Mikan remez, la lokas neira Shabbos. From this is an allusion to the lighting of the candles for Shabbos. The Zerashimshan asks, what does hadlokas neira have to do with the mon? Rabbeinu explains that we find in Medrash Kohelas Rabbah that just like a person is nene from the taste of the food, so too, an individual has hana from the sight of the food, as we find, In Masech Yuma we learn, there is no comparison between the one who sees his food and eats it, and the one who doesn't see the food and eats it. When Klal Yisrael had the mud in the Midbar, it was possible for a person to taste whatever the individual desired. However, since the mon didn't change its appearance, there was a chisaran in hana. There was still an element of enjoyment that was lacking. That in itself was considered vayancha vayarivecha, that he afflicted you and let you hunger, because they could only sense the taste, but they couldn't see the food displayed. This alludes to the lighting of the Neirus Shabbos. The Neirus, the candles, allow us to see the Achila of Shabbos, that we should have complete Hana. Both the Tam and the display of the food is before us. A number of years ago, I had the great schus to be a shliach for the Agudis Yisrael, to go to the former Soviet Union, to teach secretly, to give over shiurim, to bring Tashmish Kedusha to the people who so yearned for Yiddishkeit and thirsted for every word. I will never forget, it was Erev Shabbos. One of the people told me that there was a woman who was an accomplished artist and she had a very urgent Shiloh to ask me. They arranged to have her meet me in the doorway of one of the buildings. When she arrived, She said the following, Recently, I have begun to light Shabbos candles. However, we cannot get candles. It's out of the question. I only have six. I would like to ask you, Rabbi, should I light two each Shabbos, and then I can only light for three weeks? Or could I light one candle each Shabbos, and then at least I could light for six weeks. I answered her, I feel that you should light two candles each Shabbos. Have great emunun bitachon, that things will get better, that somehow you will get additional neiros, you will get candles, that the future will be brighter. She broke out crying, thanked me very much, and then left. I followed up, and I asked the people what had happened. They told me, Nisim Vniflos, she was granted an exit visa after the third Shabbos when she had no candles left in her possession. May we all, the entire Klau Yisrael, hear, Besurais Tavais Yeshuais Nechamos,